Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the things that you may be doing that are holding you back from fulfilling your potential to be the best version of yourself. Also for the best viewing experience, I have decided to split this video into three different parts. So stay tuned for part two dropping in next week. And for now, let's get started. The biggest misconception to being fashionable is that you have to buy expensive designer clothes or sometimes wear those weird, weird, weird looks that you see on a fashion show. It may also involve sometimes wearing clothing that is absolutely uncomfortable and it might make you feel like killing yourself. All of this is actually untrue. Although being fashionable does require some time and effort on your part in the beginning, but that is only until you identify your personal style, build a timeless wardrobe, and at the same point of time, find clothing that you are absolutely comfortable in. And I promise you, when you get to this stage, being fashionable will become second nature to you. I get it. Sometimes you're late to either go somewhere or that your buddy decided to show up and he's downstairs and he wants to go out with you. What you do is you take that wrinkly outfit out of your closet, you put it on and now you're rushing out. Whoa, 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 wait. What you just did there is you started giving all of the other people the impression that you are a careless person, you are very immature-ish and you don't know how to take care of your appearance. I'm not saying you are that, you probably aren't, you are a perfect person, but they don't know that, but they're judging that based on your wrinkles. This is the solution for it. So if you actually know that you are going to head out the next day, it makes a lot of sense for you to invest a couple of minutes the night before to ready your outfit, get it ironed, steamed, and then put it in your closet so that it's ready to go when you have to leave the next day. Another way is that you invest about two minutes of your time to iron the outfit or use a steamer to get rid of all of those wrinkles and head out as the perfectly well-dressed person that you are and you go out and impress them. Not nailing the fit can actually hurt your appearance. Wearing clothes that are baggy or too tight depending on your body shape can actually make you look like a sausage, short and even hide your muscle definition. I have made a video stating how nailing the fit can actually make you a lot more muscular. Speaking of pants, if your pants are too long, you should go get them hemmed. The best part is it only costs $20 to do this and guys, it means a world of a difference to your outfit dynamics when your pants are of proper length. Also, if your pants are proper length, then maybe invest some time and figure out when you need to cuff them and when should you not cuff your pants depending on the type of outfit that you're wearing that day and the type of shoes that you're pairing with your outfit. The links to both of these videos are down in the description, so go check them out after this video. A suit to a woman is like a bikini to a man. A suit should actually fit you like it is your second skin. A suit will give you that polished look that you are looking for provided it is done right and that it is tailored to fit your body. So the next time that you think about picking up a suit from the rack, do not take it home before it is tailored to fit your body. If you think there are some mistakes that I haven't mentioned, do put them down into the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in part two next week.